if you remove the element of nature from humanity, from human beings, um, we will not be able to coexist, we will not be able to function. And imagine 19 countries just coming together to, to, to share ideas, their actions towards a common goal. The extinction rates which we have, we have, we are facing now, is much higher than which used to happen many years, decades back. So it's a conference that is very important, that is essential. If we do not do today and uh, now, then uh, you might uh, keep your hand on your head and say that, oh, in that time I didn't do anything. All members under one house where people share ideas. Everyone has to be serious about the environment. Affects uh, livelihoods, uh, economy, society. It's a complex issue and it needs uh, attention at the, the highest level. It was not a typical conference. Normally, typical conferences, you sit there, you listen. It's long, it's boring. I've attended a lot of conferences, and uh, this is unique in a lot of ways. It's not a typical conference. Bobo, we come here to see the explanations, to pass it in a table, in a point. This one, there was less talking, but the people were actually involved. Yeah. 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 Every country had something to share. It's just interactive and everybody was busy. We ourselves were checking on the progress of ourselves, explaining people, to people what we have done. It's teamwork. Seeing the different countries um, go through their projects and explain to other countries. I was able to contact uh, per personally with uh, individuals and promised to provide technical support. A conference that is very, qui est très human, that has a very human relationship. There were some similarities and there were some innovations. You can get uh, experience from the other country. There are many new things which I've learned here, like for example the trans frontier conservation areas. C'est comme une famille, c'est comme une grande famille mondiale qui se retrouve là. Um, if we have a case study where one country is doing it um, well, it definitely needs to cascade down to all other countries. Everybody should be involved. From the different family, we become one family. a basket full of ideas and so forth so that you pick what you want and, 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 and go and implement it to your own uh, country. And it's uh, beyond our territory, beyond the, our own institutions. Across Africa and Asia. We, I could realize this is exactly what we needed. And a program like this really, really gets you to feel and to understand that these issues that we're discussing are global issues. And you know, and honestly, thanks to the Global Wildlife Program for making this possible. Il faut comprendre que nous tous on est un maillon de la chaîne de l'humanité et que les animaux comme les plantes. We are all interconnected. I think nature is at the center of life, right? But the result of this meeting can be shared. The interventions can be so much stronger when you bring other countries and other stakeholders to the table. And so we still have a chance. This is the right time for us to act, otherwise, it's going to be too late. We don't have 10 years, a, a generation, to figure out how this works. We need to figure out what's working somewhere else now and implement it now. If you don't do something right now, then uh, the situation is getting worse. But back home, it's us who are supposed to talk to the local communities, members of the public. A single country cannot bring a, a change 
we have to coordinate and collaborate. So I think it's very important for countries to come together and understand that this affects us all globally.